Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel SDK. In our last video, we talked about how to create plugin in Microsoft Schematic Kernel and how to call the plugin in our main application. So here, as I mentioned last video, we are calling here manually. Our idea is no need to call manually, it should call automatically based on the request. So that concept we will see in this video. Let's switch to PowerPoint presentation. Here the concept, planner. Planner is a function. How plugin we created the function. The same way planner also is a function. The main purpose of planner, process user prompt or user acts and generate actionable plans to fulfill the user request. So the core idea is take the user input and process it, give the fulfill uh, output for the user. That's the main idea. And one more core is a planner. It's completely utilizing AI to combine our plugins from the kernel to achieve the specific goals. So what will happen? If you create the planner or you used some available planner in SDK group, so based on the request, it utilizing the A concept and current and plugins available in the kernel. So both combine and generate the output for the user, the specific needs. And semantic kernel planners, there are three types of planner is available at the moment. And we can create the custom planner also but this video i'm going to use this available planners so here you can see what are the planners it's available based on the language at the moment see a basic planner is a simple verified sequence planner that string together a set of functions it's available only for python and the action planner creates a plan with a single step it's available only in c sharp sequence planner creates a plan with a series of steps that are interconnected with the custom generated and output variables. So in this programming, I'm going to use the sequence planner. So these plans go, go by step by step and use interconnected. That means plugins use it and generate the output to the user. So we'll create the sample application, how to use the sequence planner and switch back to Visual Studio. So the first step, I'm going to change this code. Instead of directly assigning, I just create the first the builder class, sorry, builder object. So builder object go to new of kernel builder. The next, the builder use Azure text completion service. Here we have to pass a required information. So deployment name and endpoint key. Everything I have defined in the config file, settings file. So directly use the settings class to pass the required value. So first name, deployment name dot deployment name. Next endpoint. Endpoint and finally key sorry ap key we have to pass ap key that's it so once it's ready then we can create the build object here so builder dot build so here we are creating the kernel object so create kernel builder here build kernel this step import the skill but it should be plugin import plugin so this is not required just comment this line the next line i'm going to create the planner create a planner so as i mentioned i'm going to create the sequence planner so the process it will go block by block or plugin by plugin like that so 
So here where planner equal to new of sequence planner, sequential planner. Here we have to pass a kernel object. So here we created the kernel object. This should be passed it here. So this planner use this kernel object. So once kernel object is passed, next step we have to create the plan. Next step we have to create the planner. So where plan equal to planner dot create plan, we have to pass the goal. That means user input or user prompt. So I am just I'm passing directly. I am planning to travel to Chennai. That's it. Input passed. So the next step, we have to invoke this planner. So where plan result equal to plan dot invoke. So before that, this async function, I have to pass a wait here. The next step here, I have to call invoke async. So this also async function, I have to wait. Add here, that's it. We just print the result here. Oh, sorry. Plan result dot result. Okay. So I put the breakpoint. Uh, this step start the application. Started. So planner object has been created. So we create the plan. Plan also is ready. I am planning to travel to Chennai. So the next step, we are invoking this plan. Here you can see the output. We get the Chennai temperature weather report here we seen. So the planner automatically find the city which provided in the text and this city name passed to the plugin which we attached here, the import skill we attached the weather plugin. Here it's passed the city name. So city name once is passed, it, it get the weather report for specified user location and we get the result here. So name Chennai, region Tamil Nadu, country, and other information, local time, many, many things. We'll see the exact result because we need the temperature or weather report. Here you can see the wind pressure. Yeah, we, it's good. we get the result. This is the magic of planner. We'll talk about more about uh, this one in upcoming videos. How th the planner invoke up, find the city name here and the pass to this information to the weather and get the output.